Good morning, Capricorns. How are you guys doing? Welcome, Earth Signs. Tomorrow starts your birth birthday season. Isn't that exciting? Aren't you excited? Very exciting. And it's winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. Very, very exciting stuff. All right, I got a Nine of Pentacles reverse Virgo energy and a Three of Wands reverse Aries energy. And it just feels like as you enter this phase, I don't think you guys want to be bothered by things that bring you down. You just, the Debbie Downers and things like that, sorry Debbies out there, those are just, um, yeah, I just feel like you're trying to really avoid it. Nine of Pentacles reverse and a Six of Cups and a High Priestess and a King of Swords. Ooh, Capricorn. I mean, maybe you might have something really good going on in your life that you might be keeping really quiet. King of Swords um, and a Six of Cups. I mean, this feels really, really good. It's all about you and them or you and your family. But I'm not crazy about this energy, the Nine of Pentacles reverse. I'm getting a separate energy here. Um, so let's see. Let me see what the clarifier is. Because we have, Three of Wands reverse is when you turn your back on an energy. It's an Empress reverse and it's for Six of Cups. So some of you Capricorns could have left this energy behind. You could have, this could be your ex, honestly. Could be like the mother or the father of your kids. And maybe you moved on, you're happy, you're trying to connect with new energies. And you might have somebody that's just back because they need money or they want you back. Uh, they might want you back or they might be, you know, trying to see what you're up to. And you're just really, 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 really invested over here. Six of Cups and a King of Pentacles. I just, I really get meddling. Or some of you might be in a connection and this is their ex. It very well could be because an Empress Reverse can be a very, very needy energy. And what they need is money. Nine of Pentacles. I, I, I straight out get money on this card. I do on it. So, all right, Cappies. Let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. If you are a Capricorn, know a Capricorn. It, feel like being a Capricorn with Cappies. I'm glad you're here. You can be a Capricorn and this resonates. You can be dealing with a Capricorn and it could resonate as the main story and Capricorn could be the cross watcher. It just feels like somebody's ex is just, somebody's ex, I don't know, it just feels very needy. It just, it does. All right, Cappies, let's see what's going on. See what's going on. See what's going on. There's the devil reverse. All right, general energy, collective energy for the Capricorn. Collect collective energies for the Capricorn. Collective energies for our Capricorns, our birthday boys and girls, soon to be. What is it? Ace of Swords reverse is the no card. It's just done, especially with exes and people that aren't there for you. You're just tired of shelling out people who only want money, but they're not around. You know what I mean? It's like when they're there for you for material, but they're not there for you for the emotional. Ace of Swords reverse. That's what I'm getting with that. And also this is a secretive card or this is a protective card of what is good in your life. What's influencing the Ace of Swords reverse? I, you could have taken your key back from somebody the way he's holding the key and it's kind of I think you took your energy back and you just got somebody that just won't kind of leave you alone what's influencing the ace of swords reverse what's influencing the ace of swords reverse the four of wands happiness security Aries energy I think there's a Capricorn that really found the one, but there's an X. I almost get like an X from hell or a very, it's just, or it's needy. It's just, they, they need something from Capricorn continuously. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading here? What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Cappies? Why are we all here today, you my adorable creatures? Why are we all here today? Empress, upright. Things are looking good for the, maybe for the first time in your life. You don't, you don't need anything. You're just in a really good place. And you want to shower that onto the people who have been there for you. Empress is feeling really good, abundant. Um, could be pregnant too. That is is the pregnancy card. That's Taurus and Libra. All right. What is in the past? What is in the past? What is in the past? 
the ace of cups new love happiness going into that four of wands and i still get secret on that what is on your mind cappies what is on your mind i feel like you could be buying something could be doing something um for instance like this empress this empress could actually be maybe the mother or the father to your kids and you have something good going on the reason for the reading it's almost like you're not allowed to have a life because for some reason even though they're an ex they want a part of it what is what is on cappy's mind what is on cappy's mind what is on capricorn's mind the temperance Sagittarian, look at that. Everything's balanced and happy. This still feels like you're just keeping things close to your chest. I think you're like, and I love this. This is like bursting with confetti. Very, very happy. What's in the near future? What's in the near? You know what? Some of you might have a pregnancy you're keeping because the Empress is pregnancy card. Maybe you're keeping a pregnancy quiet. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for Cappies? What's in the near future for the Capricorns? 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 Come on, give me a card, please. Give me a card. What's in the near future? I just get like this is a secret lovers or this is something i mean this is makes you very very happy it just feels like lovers under covers here secret lovers under covers what's in the near future for the capricorns eight of pentacles now look at this whatever started out as in something that's making you feel good it really has turned into a turn of events transformational see the butterflies this whatever came into your life transformed you this person this job whatever this opportunity this this energy it literally transformed you and your life and the way what you want i just feel ace of swords reverse at the center of the reading i get something you're keeping very quiet that's what i'm really getting and there's a reason ace of swords reverse influenced by the four of wands Ace of Swords Reverse, influenced by the Four of Wands. Ace of Swords Reverse, influenced by the Four of Wands here. Ace of Swords Reverse, influenced by the Four of Wands. What is that about? Ace of Swords Reverse, influence. Maybe some of you are buying a house or moving, moving in with this energy. There's the key and there's a new house. That's why I say that, but I still feel secret. Ace of Swords Reverse, influenced by the Four of Wands for Capricorns. And the Two of Swords Reverse. Two of Swords Reverse. Why Libra and Energy? Why the Two of Swords Reverse? That could be, think of it as a Queen of Swords Reverse or a Justice Reverse. That could be an X Energy. That could be an, like something. Why you're keeping an Ace of Swords Reverse. It, it's, it's, you don't probably want this person to find out. I honestly feel like you're keeping it from them seeing whatever this is. Maybe you're buying something and they feel like because you might are buying this, you might have more money to give them. What is this Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords reverse? Why the Two of Swords reverse? Ten of Pentacles reverse. And this, yeah, look at this shit. Seven of Swords. Somebody's trying to take the money away from you. But I feel like you have a Ten of Pentacles. Somehow, some way, you're coming into money. And so if this person finds it, they're going to find a way to pull it away from you. Again, with the Page of Pentacles and an Ace of Cups. Maybe you guys are marrying someone. Look at the Ace of Wands. The Knight of Cups. Capricorn, what the hell is going on in your life? Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and a Page of Pentacles. Who are you marrying? I was going to say a Rockefeller, but what are we, 1908? Okay, Empress, reason for the reading. Empress, reason for the reading. Libra, Taurus, energy. Why the Empress? The five, there it is, the five of wands. Some of you, this person is actually your ex. It's, I, maybe they need money for the kids, but you know it goes for them somehow, some way. 
Empress is, is like you supply their life. You pay their bills when you shouldn't have to pay their bills. They should be paying their own bills. What's the five of wands? Five of wands is conflict. You, I, that's why you're keeping whatever this is a secret from this person. This, this relationship, whatever you're buying, whatever you're doing, you got a, something huge coming in. Yeah, death reverse. You know this person can't, they're still stuck on you or they're still stuck on what you have that they think still belongs to them. It could be you or, again, your money. What is the Ace of Cups in the past? This is definitely the X here, reason for the reading. And you're in a good place and you don't want this person disrupting it, so you're keeping whatever this is close to your chest. I feel like it's downright money. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups in the past, Ten of Cups, wow, Cappy, so you guys got your happily ever after. You know what's sad about this is some of you have to pretend you don't have this. You have to pretend you're still in the storm because that's how this person stays away and they're happy. You can't even like relish in how good life finally is for you. What is the temperance on your mind? What is the temperance on your mind? Sagittarian. Yep. Eight of Wands reverse. Sagittarian again. Blocking energy. I think for you to be balanced, you have to block probably all this past energy out. Why the Eight of Wands reverse? And the Six of Swords. Talk, I feel like a getaway. Some of you are sneaking away towards this. Once you buy this or once you move towards this energy, once you, four of wands, it's either you're moving towards this energy, you're buying something with an energy, you're moving in with an energy, whatever this is, this is really big. This is like someone you could have been talking to and you're finally buying something together or moving in together, or renting something together, or moving in with them. But I feel like you're keeping this really close until you're finally far away so this energy can't bother you. Yeah, eight of wands reversed and a six of swords. Energetically, I yeah, energetically is just calmer times, peaceful times. Six of swords and the temperance are the minor and the major of each other. Why the six of swords on your mind? Why is that? And the nine of pentacles reverse. That's probably why that's eight of wands reverse. That's what I feel like you're you're putting off, that you don't have it that you don't have this person or you don't have the money. There's some on your mind, I, I just, or verbally, I just feel like secretly you, you have something good. But to, the, to other people, how they look, they're like, well, Capricorn really hasn't dated or Capricorn really hasn't moved on from this ex. But secretly, you have, such, you have something really, I mean, hell, you got a Ten of Pentacles. Actually, that was upright. You have a Ten of Pentacles. But you can't even like tell people about it because you're afraid somebody is going to ask for a loan or ask, you know, whatever it is. You, I, Seven of Swords is, is, yeah, I just feel like you have to be quiet about it. All right, Eight of Pentacles in the near future. Virgo Energy, why the Eight of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles reverse, which leads to an Ace of Pentacles. It feels like a new job. It's a new relationship or a new job. Seven of Pentacles reverse, you deciding to no longer invest in something you've been investing in, and you're going to start putting your time or your money and your energy into something that really makes you feel good about you, makes you feel worthy, makes you finally feel like you're able, you're making a contribution to the world or to your back on your path. And I feel like there is another energy involved here i really feel like you found your soulmate here but why the seven of pentacles reverse on the eight of pentacles definitely feels like some type of there's so much money going on here capricorn but there's love too eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles reverse and the nine of wands i think you this feels sagittarian energy Maybe you were dealing with a Sagittarius or some type of fire sign. It's like this nine of wands. It's like you, you, you're very guarded with your eight of wands, even up here. You're guarded with what your plans are. Think of the eight of wands as your plans. You can't tell people your plans because 
it might get back to this person and then this person is gonna feel like they're owed something and you may have this could be an ex from a from a like a while but maybe you have kids together and it's just for some reason they feel like you have to supplement their life but you have something really really good here and the nine of wands going back to you know the work on the eight of pentacles i feel like you have you're going back to fulfilling dreams you're able to now there was a time maybe money was really tight and i feel like you're coming into some type of money or a raise or I, it feels like your money is just really improving big time so now you're able to not have to be so guarded around your pennies and a guarded around you know where you put it and you can now put time or money and energy over here into the creative so maybe you used to paint or do something really creative that you really really love to do but you had to put that down because you needed a nine to five job to pay the bills and that somehow some way you're coming into money capricorn you're coming into money I'm not sure how, but you are, but I just feel like you're keeping it very secret because an ex feels like they're coming into money too, and they're not. All right, my dears, have a fantastic rest of your week. Happy early birthdays for all celebrating tomorrow. Happy winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. I love winter solstice. All right, guys, have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.